Welcome to Eat and Be Eaten. Uh, welcome to Hannah's house. This is my segment on the Eat and Be Eaten show. Um, I'm going to start out today by um, telling you some tips about how I cleared my acne because this show is a um, little corner for women, health and beauty, and off-grid living. So health and beauty tips for off-grid living. And um, I'm going to start out with talking about acne and how I cleared my acne. Um, I didn't have acne as a teenager and I started having it as an older person, like a 20 years old, and um, could never find anything that actually helped long term. Uh, so, but I finally found a few things that help keep my skin consistently clear and so I'd like to share those with you hopefully they'll be helpful. Um, so the first thing that I do, which I think is the most important, is I eat a plant-based diet. I started eating a plant-based diet not thinking that it was going to clear up my acne. I didn't expect that anything would happen or it would do anything for me, but it did. And um, so I think especially dairy, I suspect that removing dairy from my diet uh, helped. There's a lot of studies linking dairy to acne, so if you have acne and you don't want to go vegan or you can't, then at least try maybe removing dairy from your diet and seeing if that helps you. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is I subscribe to this subscription-based service. I'm not sponsored, but uh, it's, a, it's called Curology, and it's a online skincare service that you take a quiz on their website and they prescribe you a prescription strength formula that's specifically for your issues. So mine has three different ingredients in it, active ingredients, and it's like a topical antibiotic type of situation. So that really helped as a topical, uh, do that before bed. And then as a moisturizer, again, this is topically, I use uh, rosehip seed oil mixed with a few drops of Hawaiian hemp oil. So those are two things that um, when they're mixed together they have a lot of antioxidants and phytonutrients for the skin so it really keeps your skin healthy and hydrated and moisturized. And uh, yeah, all those cannabinoids in the hemp oil helps to brighten your skin and there's a lot of vitamin A and things like that in the rosehip seed oil. So that was a great topical. Um, of course, internal is really important. So I'm going to go to another internal thing that I use, uh, which is evening primrose oil. And this has GLA, which is a fatty acid that's lacking in a lot of our diets. Um, this one promotes, promotes women's health, so it balances your hormones. You won't have um, all the hormones out of whack, which can lead to acne. So that's how it internally helps with acne. And yeah, you just take one soft gel three times daily, and it really it also helps to strengthen the skin barrier. So that also is really helpful. So those are the things that really help me all together. If I stop doing any one of those, I really notice that it's it doesn't work as well. My skin starts flaring up in some way or another, dryness or a little bit of breakouts. So those are the things that really help and I hope if you guys want to give these a try, if you're off-grid and you're not sure how to clear your skin or even if you're not off-grid and you're interested in that, um, give these things a try and let us know in the comments below if that helps and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much. Have a great day.